Hi, is this the Jaeger residence? Yes, it is. Hi, um, this is rather important. I need to speak to the Jaegermeister. This is Mrs. Meister. Who's calling, please? Mrs. Meister? Who's calling, please? This is an anonymous call. Who's calling, please? This is Cheryl Yakinen. Who, who are you? Excuse me, this is Mr. Yachman. I, I apologize. My wife just got a hold of the phone. She just got home from the mental hospital, and uh, she's on. She's very highly That's medicated. That's my friend. Please, who did you call? The Jägermeister. I told you to stay away from the phone. No. Oh, I'm sorry that we've bugged you. You. The, good, you. I apologize. You. I apologize for this, <laughs> and I will never let her call you again. Why did you put her on speed dial? Who is this woman you've called? What the hell is going on here? I can't take it any more. Hello. Hello, Amos. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for Amos. Hello. Hello, Amos. Yeah. Amos Taylor. Hi. My name is Johnny Quano. I am uh, Johnny Quano. I am originally from North Chicago, but now I am just getting out of the hospital, and I am supposed to call you for a ride to. <laughs> I was supposed to call you for a ride. I just got out of the hospital. I've been in the hospital and they what gave me. Hey, I've been there for two months. They, I was there for drugs, but I'm from North Chicago and I'm from Lake County. And they give me your number. They say if you're from Lake County, you call this number. I don't know who give it to you. It's my social. I'm a, I'm a private detective. I don't know who give you my number. A private detective. I need your help, man. This is good. Because check it out. My ex-wife is part of the reason why I'm freaking in the hospital to begin with. This lady, this, my ex-wife, she tried to kill me, man. She was shooting me. She what? She, she take a shot at me. And when I called the police to tell them, they could not. They, what are they, did, phone they didn't do I anything. Don't have a, I've been in a hospital for two months. And shit. I'm, but I'm getting out. And What's that's what. What's my name? Hector. What? Hector. What's your name? Hector. H-E-C-T-O-R. Juano. Wow. Juano. W-H-A-N-W-O. I'm half Spanish. I'm half Hawaiian. And I got some, uh, ma I got Mongol. I don't know nothing about you now. I, I got my, but you you're a private detective. I'm a, you're a private detective. You could help me out, hombre. No, me, I you. Can't do that with you buddy. Okay, man, but. Okay, don't call me no more. If you call me again, I will come get you. But I'm going to get you when I get you. I'm going to take you to jail. Well, don't take me to jail. I just get out of jail, man. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hello, George Washington. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, who's this? This is Johnny. I'm a clown. I'm from Cookie Clown College. And you know what? You won uh, enrollment, tuition free, for a year at the Cookie Clown College in Van Nuys. What do you think about that? Are you excited as I am? I'm, I'm beside myself. Anyway, we're going to cover all the aspects of clowning, see? You're going to learn how to make balloon animals. You're going to learn how to jump, skip, and have fun and go honk, honk, wacky, wacky. Stuff like that the clowns do. It's awesome, ain't it? And then when, when you get acclimated and you're doing good, we're going to go... We're going to entertain some old people, maybe entertain some birthday parties, stuff like that. And you're going to become a clown. You are the clown. Wow. Sounds fun. So I'm going to drop some stuff in the mail for you. Like I said, this has got a value of about $2,000. We cover uh, tuition, the cost of the books, everything. Because there's books that have to do with clowning, a lot of them. You're going to, you know, it's not just twisting up balloons and having fun. There's a, you got to have some smarts to be a clown, and I think you got it. Okay. Okay? 
All right. Well, I'm going to drop this in the mail, and uh, I'm going to get back in touch with you. you. I don't know. You got my number. Feel free to call me back. But uh, listen, we're going to be having some fun clowning around. Woohoo! Can Can you give me a woohoo? I don't have your number. You got to say woohoo. <laughs> All right. I got to go. I got some kids I got to go kick. I'll talk to you. Hey John. Yeah, man, I got I got your number from uh, Buck. Um, anyway, I'm driving up. What? I got your number from Buck, but I'm I'm coming up 94. I'm steaming north. I got uh about 10 tons of toilet paper that I'm hauling. And uh, I started off in uh, Jonesboro this morning and uh, just driving on, looking for probably, I'm um, going to stop and get something to eat. <laughs> shit you not. I'll shit in a bucket for you. I'll shit in a bucket and rub it on my forehead, dude. What, what do you want? Meet me. Hey, you know, you know, you know it's just bad for you. Well, I know, man, but I'm a trucker. I need to stay awake because I got to go all the way up to the UP with this toilet paper. Charmin, don't squeeze it. Please don't squeeze it, Charmin. Meet me up there where you want to. You tell me where you should meet. I'll drive. Can I drive a truck down your street? Because I'll just park in the front yard. Sleep over. Get me some crack. Fuck, I need. Don't laugh to death, man. I can't have you laughing to death because that'll be on my conscience. And I'm a trucker. I got enough of my conscience already. Truckers are <laughs> truckers are dirty, filthy people. I'll tell you right now. I know you, John, man. That's what counts, man. I know you. I've been watching you. I admire you. I like you a lot. I mean, the way you handle things. The way I mean, you're really strong. Uh, intelligent, intellectual person. I know you like flowers and ballet and the arts and all kinds of things like that. And I appreciate that, man. Sometime I'd like to maybe just maybe go out to the state park and walk with you. And don't mind if I carry a monkey. I might carry a monkey wrench. Come on, man. I want to take you to the dentist and get your grill fixed up, man. That's the first thing I want to do. I want you to, I kind of want you to be my man, bitch. That's what I really want. I want you to just, I'll take care of you. I got money. I drive a lot. And, uh, you know, what the hell. And I'll come into town. I'll take care of you. That's all. Come on, man. You remember them stores back in the 80s? Them, um, them uh, what are they called? Uh, Merry-go-round. They had the parachute pants and the shit with zippers and stuff. Well, I got a box of that crap, and I'd like to see you put it on. I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you put it on, brother. I just want to meet you for some breakfast. I'll buy it for you. I'll fix up your teeth. Come on, man. I'll buy you. I'll buy you a pair of Wranglers, dude. Come on. Fuck. What else do you need me to do? I'll do anything, John. But hey, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna come over by your house, man. Be I. I'll honk the big rig horn. I'm gonna go honk honk three times. You come out, and I'll. Like I said, we'll go out. I'll get you some eyeglasses. All right. You owe me a fucking calf rub. Bye. <laughs> What happened to you out there, man? You fall down? You're so excited. <laughs>